it, it just it fit instantly with Brokey, and that's why he was such a success story. We'll see if, well, this B site can hold. Speaking of Brokey, back by Bench, and he's got Cold Zera trying to work with him. There's also that third player tucked behind the van, and so far, so good for the clan. But Searson and Xanteras, those are two names you have to talk about when it comes to big. And they delivered. At least the trade frag successful, but Kierby still has a chance at this one versus three. He still has the one versus one right in front of him, but he's going to lose that out as Xanteras takes another two for him as big wind pistol. But we're also going to find out why FaZe picked it. An easier map in the pool, something they're comfortable on and have a lot of experience. Maybe don't need as much IGL. -ing. Ooh, hey now. Coldzera, close smoke. Picking up that MAC-10 nearly costs him, but he does deal enough damage for Boki to clean it up. Olaf, oh! What? Two headshots with the D coming in from the B bomb site. Face Clan, they go with that close two-man stack. And I mean, well, you saw it. And when you do, you're going to get two Deegs in the second round, and you're going to feel like you're 16 years old again. And Olaf Meister, let's see what he has to deliver here. But it's Kierby and Brokey actually dying after getting a kill apiece because, again, we look to the hard fraggers of Big Clan, and our eyes are drawn to Xanteras and Searson. But Olaf's eyes are drawn through the smoke, and it seems he's susceptible to the Deegs. Dies out. Man advantage here for Big. And now it's three on one. Cold Zero, what can you do? Pops right up, shuts Tizian down, goes for the shoulder, gets the information. Now he's calling for Rain to come on over. And he hears that bomb plant. Tabson putting it in for Catwalk with the scout. He's got his deagle out because he's close on cold. And even though the Galil hits the headshot, Rain's the player who has to finish this off, but he can't quite finish because Zanteras locks it down from Arch and gives Big Clan their second. Molotov. Not going to fluster him. He's able to hold his position. And meanwhile, Tabson does find footing on Tetris. Rain softened, but still able to deliver a kill as Kierby does the exact same thing. He nearly lines up two more players, but here comes Brokey, pounding an extra shot through the smoke. Just a warning sign of what's to come. A round not yet won back to back for either team. It's a clash of the Force Wars. I'm so glad Olaf is back. It just seems like it's working out so well. I mean, it's such a great idea if you think about it. <laughs> Knowing Nico leaves, for example, and thinking, well, now i got to think about myself. Certainly no comfort on FaZe Clan for the moment, but uh, they're getting loose in Cold Zera. Down he goes. Tabson coming up from Catwalk, the double entry. Kirby will find him through the smoke before the bomb's able to go down, but the plant's still successful. And that bomb plant in and of itself is enough to get the third round to the board for big. Four survivors on the T side and three survivors for FaZe if they can manage to hang on to all of these guns as they hope to. And early contact on apartments as well, right? Remember that first player who died was just running crazily like this. Tizian through the fire and the flames, yet to be slain. 36 HP remains, and there is his first kill. Doubles down, in fact, into Cold Zera. That was a very rude thing of Tizian to do. And it gets even worse for FaZe Clan, because he finds himself the triple. Oh, Tizian with the hop. Chain it. Yes, Hold on. He gotta, he's got to anticipate it. He'll pick up another Molotov here. If he waits too long. See that? He's going back for another gunfight. Oh, man, if he had lost that, that's easily a round for FaZe Clan, and it could still be. Oh. But Xanteres oh. from the palace hits him between the eyes. Searson on the flattest angle, flatter than the earth with this angle. Oh, my God. Ready? Gets the close one. That immediately sends Cold Zera scrambling back slightly, Ooh. and he should have gone a little further. Hot shot. And then another headshot. This one chiming in is Tabson Brokey, the only answer so far for FaZe. But again, that's the bomb carrier, like the sickest B plays ever, and the bomb's just stranded in Palace. But Brokey, he's about to die. Ooh. He was supposed to. And Tabson getting that headshot. Just as Brokey's kind of wary of his flank. So kind of try to play it carefully and just make sure we get rain on the deal here so they're at full strength. Perfect. Everybody dies, they'll spend a little bit of money. We'll see if Tabson can further the success. A transition onto the catwalk that doesn't quite close because Cold is still standing. But as he goes for another peak, he nearly dies. Still 3v2. M4 is valuable. But Keto starting to warm up here. You know, I talked about the kill differential. It was really just Keto who was kind of trailing, as he does at times. 
And yet now he's found a good bit of success here in an important gun round. But Olaf on for the clutch. We're talking years of experience versus Xanteres, who's got his double flashbang and sits posted back by Firebox. Olaf has no clue where he could have gotten off to, but he oh. does tap out that bomb. No kit. So Olaf needs the kill fast enough to jump back upon the bomb. Xanteres oh. peeks and dies. And Olaf should have this. An excellent fifth round and a beautiful 1v3. Um, no more Nico, right? Yes. Nico plays the star player position on this map. Yes. That's Connector. Who's in that spot now? It's Kirby. Oh, baby. And we talked about it, uh, but just as we started to get excited, Kirby's the first man to die. And he's not alone. Rain and cold following quickly thereafter. And now they're going to get the post plant they wanted. It's for Catwalk slash Connector. They've got two players deep in mid. Roki's going to take a bit of damage as he does return the favor with a single frag, but this should be two rounds the advantage for Big Red. Yeah, but uh, it, it's it's like, uh, you know, it's a gift and a curse. You win the clutch, but you actually only had one alive. You don't win the following round. Oh, it's real tough on you. Nobody here on the Blast Squad had predicted the FaZe Clan win. Olaf pass. Oh Oy! my god! Another? Dude. No. Shut down after two, but I'm not going to say I don't get it. that those weren't beautiful. Good scout play in mid. Coldzera beneath the B apps could be enough to give FaZe Clan their sixth round. Is a sixth CT round possibly enough? Brokey's gonna clamp down onto Tabson, so Xantera's in the 1v3. He has a 13 and 5 score line so far this half, and now he's in the post plant. He backs up. Has to be cautious as they're encroaching from all three directions and he never sees it coming. It is FaZe Clan with a sixth. Kierby gets that one. So, you know, what's crazy is just how well Olaf is playing. As a whole, still up for debate. Okay. Well, good to know that's where we stand before the second half really gets rolling. But Keto. Well, he got himself two headshots before dying himself. Tabson looking for his chance to strike, but Kierby coming back from Sandwich as it is FaZe Clan to close. I have no more questions. Oh, boy. Yeah. Is he... Whoa. Too many heads all at the same time. Yeah. He was just... He just got peeled apart. Not that he did anything wrong, just wrong place at the wrong time. Rain gonna get flashed around the corners of the staircase. That's a blinded Searson, easy for the taking. Coldzera gonna challenge out from Palace, perhaps. Not without a flash, which yet again is on the mark. So the team play here is working out excellently for FaZe, and they've gone ahead and steamrolled through the A site flawlessly once more. Yeah, it was an awkward round, of course, because we see Kirito, you know, Kido, he's trying to follow one player, another peeks out. I think or be able to trade if Palace comes out and you want to fight. But if one person standing there at A ramp falling back, we saw that there was a player on the other side of the smoke in A ramp as well. Keto's not really giving himself mm. a lot of room to breathe in that position. You know, we brought up some other players. Whoa, got dropped by Keto. Mm -hmm. Luckily, Tabson was there to pick up somewhat of the pieces. Oh, Gap in the smoke almost cost him his life. He is still alive, however, barely standing. Rain's okay from CT spawn for now, but there's Searson's op finding a frag up on mid. So the only thing FaZe had going for them, other than the players on the site, was Olaf. He's now dead. Tabson so incredibly blind that he was looking into the wall on the wrong side. And because of that, it's an easy pickup for FaZe. With Rain getting an additional kill back by Ticket, you suddenly have a man advantage. And what is the trend from Big? But he doesn't hit it. He wasn't even really blind, I don't think. I want to give him that. I don't think I can. Let's see if Searson can click back. He does get Kierby, but that wasn't the only player on that smoke. Oh, he's so mad. Kierby broke. He was just scoped in a yeah. little bit off to the left. Soon as he walks out, of course, Searson finds a lucky timing. So that's a fortunate opening, actually, because Brokey was holding that. So you want to give him credit there. Oh, second pickup from Searson. Of course he's going to take that and turn it into a mall. Yes. Oof. And he's still going. Third frag to the kill feed. Fourth one, potentially. Fifth one, perhaps. Depends on the timing here with the peaks, but bomb was retrieved. Coldzera initially dropping it. Searson flashed into the palace, hits the shot onto Olaf. Can't quite finish with the frag, but Xanteras is here to pick up those pieces. And just like that, round 23 is where Big will find their double digits. Still trailing by three. 
Tizian fully committed to holding this, but Tizian's having himself quite the rough game. 9 and 20, and he just lost his support. He does have a second CT back by Cat, but their attentions turn towards him, and Tizian, still yet to be found, is just blown away through smoke. Olaf attempting to peek for an additional kill, but Tabson will stop him there and then. And when do the rest arrive? That's the question. Brokey, seeing a player at a distance, knows there's another up close, but even with the grenade onto Kierby, the bomb plant comes through. Brokey's looking to lock it down. 2v2. Two no utility left for the T side. One kit, one frag here for big, but now it's only one player. Keto's gonna chuck out the utility, soften up Cold Zera, but he has to deal with the sniper, and he sees that barrel. He's gonna sneak underneath it, almost hitting the headshot, focusing on Cold, but dying out in the end, it's FaZe Clan with a 14th round. You know, he picks it up down an underpass. There's a player top mid that he duels versus. I mean, they have Kierby stuck in such an awkward spot. And now that he's dead, you're going to watch that AK in the hands of Tabson move rapidly into this A site. This is not a round big are supposed to have any footing in. And now they've gone ahead and grabbed a second AK-47. You have five members of Big Clan completely congregated in connector. And with the bomb planted on default, Rain has nowhere to go. Look at this, man. It is a firing squad on the side of the staircase. And Brokey's sniper scope won't be able to flick fast enough, or will it? He takes down Zantares. Tizian trades him. Coldzera's back on ramp, waiting for his time, but Tapson connects it between the eyes, and Keto's a closer. Look at the damage that was output versus big. Instead, they're gonna shift their attention towards the B site, which is currently held by four players, and Searson's inside of the apartments. He goes underpass behind Olaf, and he's gonna be able to escape. But because he saw that it was clear, we actually get Big moving out of position from the B site. This is awkward. Searson gonna spot them at the top of mid as he tries to retreat, and what a treat it is. A second kill from Searson, but an answer back from Kierby on 100 HP in the 1v4. Really, really scary for, for FaZe to have to spend more money next round. Nice angle. Again, they don't have that loss bonus. Let's see if that's where they decide to sink their teeth into this time. Ooh, that's new. Oh my goodness. Oh, Full commitment with just the Tech 9's Deagle. Little to lose, lots to gain. Tizian has Olaf dead to rights, and he's got himself a second. But it's Xanteras and Tabson with the follow-up frags. Cold Zera's coming in from Catwalk. Completely known now, and he will get one. But it's one and done. Oh, he talked about his redemption. He's going to miss the first one. Suddenly, he is in hot water all around him. The bullets start flying, Olaf. and Olaf, he's connected too. Can Kido actually do this? Back in for second servings. Misses the flick shot, and it's Kierby close on the smoke. Somebody's walking away with a 15th round, and it's looking like the FaZe Clan. Tizian, last man at bat for the CT side, and he goes down empty-handed. They've done it. It's overtime at least for the roster no one counted on forcing Big Clan to have to try and reverse sweep the series. The opener here in the second group. Oh, Zantares under pressure. Oh, but Rain gets cleared out by Tabson. He tries his damnedest to stay alive. However, Brokey on the sniper. This is looking like OT needed. Cold Zera comes crawling out from the hedges. And what can he do? 50 HP. Nobody's going to give him a thing. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I mean, if he, if he could slip around Catwalk and get the 1v1 on B site, oh, then he had a chance. But it is the slap from Searson, his 27th kill. So I'm sure it won't be the last time they'll be able to add, have a lot of variety here on the T side. Whoa. Taps an opening and a heavy stack towards A. We've got a bit more support here for our boy Keto this time around. He is still splitting up his attention. Like, there's not two players beside each other. And Olaf is in the smoke. I don't know if this is a good fight. We'll see how it works for him. Yeah, it's about to get weird. Oh, oh. damn. Okay, he's fast. Oh, what? Well, when you can aim like that. Joey, I want a replay. Okay. Hot damn. Okay, big clan. Coming into overtime with a little bit of conviction. There's some crazy aim involved, right? You don't want to put yourself in that spot every time. Oh, he's running. Smoke's fading. That's not a... 
Oh my god, the flash is fantastic, but another one comes back the other way. Oh, Kierby trying to recover, but his spray not quite on point. Opera nearly dead now. Keto gives chase, and that is Lady Luck rearing her head to the delight of Big Clan. 4v2 turn, 4v1, it's done. Two CT rounds for Big. A bit too late? A bit late, I don't know if they heard this. Crucial fight, Ooh, crucial fight. And Tapson's so incredibly low that now Rain, I mean, he is gonna be a thorn in the side of Big. They are still able to find their entry, but their attention has to be turned towards Palace. That's gonna be such a problem for them. How else do they get out of this spot? They could challenge inwards where Olaf is holding with his op, and sure enough, it's now down to only Tizian. He is so surrounded, able to best the Wait player on the ticket, but Ooh. there's Olaf to close. Oh. 17 rounds each, anybody's first map. That was close. What exactly is about to come their way? Really just about Cold Zero to catch Lurks. He can spot them off Cat. Brokey gets an opening kill too, and there's going to be now. Yep. Pay attention yep, to Cold Zero. He's close. Keto up in his face, gets the trade. Reigns position unbeknownst to Big. And they're going to move that bomb in. Cold Zero, he gets his headshot versus Searson, but there's the saving grace. And for now, CT is open. That bomb plant could be everything. A 3v3 in the post. Quadruple flashbang for FaZe. First one thrown out. Peek from Olaf nets them nothing. It's deeper positions coming in from Big. They've got one in Sandwich, one on Tetris, and a third player back on ramp. Layers upon layers. And the first Slayer is Keto. Now Cold Zera's trying to peek wide. He knows he's on triple, but they still don't know about the other two. Here comes Antares and Tizzy in both with a headshot each. A gray hold. I Big mean, they... 18. 18. Big Clan just wasting no time. Gearing up for the A hit, one player already out from Palace. FaZe trying to challenge on the side of these smokes, but they've lost their vision. And because of the deeper smokes, you'd think they'd find nothing. Kierby's still able to get one rain. He's got a gap, but keto has got the frag. What a turnaround from Keto. He started this map so slow. Wait a second. They're pushing through to stop this plant, and they oh, will. it works! Cold has got himself the double. It's a man advantage back for FaZe, but there is still Searson coming in slowly from mid, and they're gonna have two members of FaZe pinched in Connector. Oh my god. The bomb can actually fall back. <gasps> he gives him his back! Searson, he doesn't know there's a second player in front of Connector. How carefully- oh. oh my god, he grabs that! Now it's all on Brokey. He's gonna move his sniper into the side. Oh. Searson with the 3k! That late lurk through mid! Oh. It's enough to get map one in the back pocket of big. FaZe trying their damnedest in a series we expected to fizzle out for eternity kierby with the kickoff rain well there's a player just flying past him difficult kill to get at a 4v3 nonetheless however bomb plant on that a site easy wrap around from trophy kierby with another kill to the feed leaves a 1v4 situation for keto now what the hell is he supposed to do about this Coldzera running inwards, gonna get popped, and a second shot into the face, a third, get the third! Now he's gotta get back behind the door, he's jumping, it's desperate, I don't know what it is, but it's a pistol round win regardless, phase. Get on up, and get on down. Frag grenades, blowing Keto away, Og, easy pickup versus a peak like that one. However, Tabson, ooh. Frag grenade damage to follow suit, some, but Brokey. Great AGs. Everywhere. Man. Great. Brokey's everywhere. I'm happy that FaZe get to start off on the CT side. Okay. That to me was. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. That's a, that's a mental advantage there. The mini wrap could be fruitful. Rain's gonna have a player behind him in just a moment, but it's actually Zantara's to best him. Tabson denying Brokey outside. Olaf has an angle, but Tizian, great headshot. And he's even gonna start wrapping back to watch the flank. Sure enough, Cold Zera already in position. Now down to the one versus two. And then also Olaf getting wrecked by that Tizian peak. Yeah. I mean, uh, he had the angle held, he anticipated the shot, but just instantaneous. Will he get the contact? Will he get the better of the timing? 
Oh, where is that? That looks like a deep lobby frag, perhaps. They see this cross. Kirby on high alert. Ooh, nice movement. Rain's able to get back into position. Oh, snappy headshot. He knows there's more players here. Metal and flames flying by. Frags and fire all around them. And Olaf, he is the insurance policy in case they think they can eject up vents. Brokey honed in on doorway. That was a real perfect movement from Rain. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Oh, um, Brokey knows he's right side here. Rain's going to walk back into it. There's that anticipated frag. That's the opera dead to right. So FaZe with a fourth round already. That was sick. That's going to allow double peaks coming in from heaven. And oh. Kirby serving as an anchor. Now, if he hears Searson. Oh, this is awkward because Searson. Yeah, Searson's he hears him. Oh, easy pickup. Searson scoped towards trophy. Because Kirby flanks that way, again, the trophy man never comes into the play. But Keto's coming back. He's hunting Kirby, who only has to buy time at this point. Xanteras, one versus three. Gets that instant headshot. Actually costs him half his health. Coldzera on the rafters. And that's all they need. Phase with a six. Real beautiful moves from Kirby that round. I mean, first of all, he comes to the big flank. Another round full of proactivity from him. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants a fizzled out series. How about a clash? A fast smack in the face versus rain. Down goes Olaf as well. You talked about weaponizing that vent aggression, weaponizing a little bit of pace change on the A site. And there you have it, Launders, just as you asked. An eighth round. Oh, Brokies. Ooh, dodges the flag. Come on now. Oh, Ooh. baby. Collateral. That's going to keep one AK out of the hands of Big. And a pistol player popped as well. That's a really expensive double. Tabson okay. looking for a head. And Rain's going to give it to him. Now Tabson knows there's another back in garage. He calls it out and Searson body bags it. Five versus two. Looking like Big are going to take control of the game. Yeah. Especially if they can get so many players alive. coldzera has been sat down here on this B site waiting for his chance to strike. But no one wanted to rumble. Yeah, I thought he was the next guy to have to take a duel, but he'll he'll just have, he'll just be able to fall back and and save this Falmus. And they're they're coming for him though. They kind of know exactly where he went off to. This heaven wrap, more than enough time. Despite the CTs all being here, such great spots to attack from. However, a fantastic shot from Cold Zera. Yeah, drops bomb with 25. Ooh, seconds. Oh. Cold Zera looking like he's going to have to do it all. Bombs dropped over. And they know! Brokey knows that the other player had to cross. 20 seconds. Keto, he's got the AK. He's got the Kevlar. But now Brokey's got his paws on an op. And Cold Zera's got the patience. Double flashbang. Where are they? Keto's trying to take the challenge down to 14 HP. And the slide out from Cold Zera. A trio of frags from him. Kirby credit card. But this opens up the mini. Absent, still lingering within it. Olaf down to nine HP, and they know exactly where he's at. Frag grenades, fantastic, and the headshot from Tizian. A four versus two to Big Clan's favor. A fifth round on their T side looks inevitable. The double sniper. I'd love to, since we're at this point of the game, I'd like to just you know go ahead and look at some of the stats, some of the big performers who's who's doing well. I, I, I'm seeing Rain Rain be a real nemesis for them here on the A site. And of course, when he dies, it, it's quite an easy round to take upstairs because he's been so good in front of Squeaky. Call oh, ADR. So two kills. Three, oh, it's three kills. Door swings wide. Flash in the face of Searson. Doesn't do anything. It's really this lobby crunch from Cold and Rain with the Desert Eagle into the head of Tizian. But I even know he has a gun. I don't think he anticipates the second player still from spawn. And Searson not going to let him keep it going. Just water crashing on the shore. Speaking of water. Yeah, rain opens. Brokey closes onto Tabson. 5v3 for phase. I mean, somebody has to take the round advantage, and it's looking like the CT side. They are all down on this B site, Big Clan. Searson's finally able to answer back, but he's going to have to do everything. And he has managed to pin a second player down. He's got 100 HP. He's on for the ace. Oi, Cold Zera gonna fire at him through the floorboards. Leaves him with four HP, and that's not nearly enough. FaZe Clan, eight rounds on their CT side. A fresh roster to the offense of Nuke. Utility comes out. 
I mean, there's a player ready for this one. Taps in, he's gonna get himself into the corner. Oh, he gets both those headshots and he wants more. Four bullets left in the magazine and down he goes. A response from FaZe Clan, uh -oh. but still a man advantage up for big and Searson's on the ladder of all things. Keto pinned into the vent, now gonna be challenged by two, but we also see Big taking control of Heaven. Searson's position now known, bomb being planted, or at least faked once. And now Kierby commits to it on the front of the silos. Two members of Big above them. Just swooping death downwards is Tizian. Searson gonna get gushed, but still able to close. That is Big to tie at eight. Any info on the cross? No. No rotations? Okay, Tabson. Let's see what he can do. He's got that M4 and a second in position. Good crossfire, good damage output, but not nearly enough. We get that utility being volleyed the base of the ramp. Now what gets awkward is the fact that you've got the double MP9 and a Fomus on the retake. Two smoke grenades up here. Yeesh, not ideal. Are they calling a save? Uh, it looks like it. They get to the door, they open the door, the door's open for them. They they kill the people in the site, they put the bomb down. Super simple round for FaZe, but for Big, you know. Will redirect downstairs. Tizian and Zantara's in position. They try to challenge with the doors swung wide, but Olaf catching the headshot immediately. MP9 at this distance shouldn't do too much. Playing with his nades is Zantara's, and he goes down. Keto v3. Swinging it open. Oh, he could get the second, and he denies the bomb plant. Ten seconds left over. Keto's got the MP9. Brokey needs the bomb. He's just going to have to go for the plant, committing to the back of the site. This is a chance for Keto to exit, but if he doesn't move, then suddenly the question in the back of Brokey's mind is, does he wrap the decon? Keto walks out, and Brokey sends him packing. A tenth round for FaZe. Oh, Big Daddy Brokey's got a lockdown. We want to see him deliver. Now's his chance. Three players on the other side, and he drops no success. That's an instant save. That's, I mean, is it you not? Know, they should be saving, I think. Like, they're, they're coming in for the retake here. Uh, people are getting in position. The bomb's planted. Maybe they're hoping it wouldn't go down so fast, but yeah, they got to. Now you're out. I think you call it, man. They got to get out of there and save their guns, right? Don't just, like, half commit and stick around. As in, FaZe Clan are going to want to hunt. Holds off just the first. Yeah. That was, the reason they did that, of course, is because Tabson's their lower player. So as soon as he died outside, they just rushed it. They're like, we're not even gonna overthink this. We're gonna go put pressure downstairs. I feel like his Every round frozen. we go to him, it looks like his life is a nightmare. Yeah. It's a man whose eyes tell a tale of a thousand could... wounds. And Tizian, well, he's coming off of the top of the hut. Tabson's got a kill alongside Keto. This. Fast clash being set by FaZe, not quite sticking the way they'd hope. Brokey hoping he can make something happen, but he gets cleared out by Searson, who doesn't shy away from the gunfight. And Searson burned off of the angle, gifted a kill by Rain. Yeah, awkward from Rain to run around that side to jump through. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to try and cross the path of Zantares. Cold Zero with oh the God. instant headshot. Very nicely done. Kierby as well, finding the exact same success, but into the head of Tabson. Man, advantage for phase. 45 seconds with the bomb going down. And Searson starts to sniff out this ramp room, but check out Olaf's spot. Oh, that scope is everything Olaf needed. Now he hears the utility, plays around the corner, gets the job done. It's on Tizian, who's already gotten himself two kills. Needs another double. Doors close on his face. And both positions assumed by FaZe would create the crossfire of death. Cold Zera gets the nail in the coffin. At least that 15th added to the board. Well, the nades are up for the tees. They haven't died coming oh. into the site. So now, <gasps> oh, wow. Cold Zera gets stink. Nice stink. But he stays alive. Yeah, it's just, you know, a nice little flick. Okay, now you need to put the bomb down. Mm -hmm. Olaf's gonna plant it. Kierby inside of the smoke. Tizian, he doesn't see the feet fast enough. And now everything that's left over for Big is gonna have to come in from ramp. There's an auto shotgun on the front. It gets taken down by Tabson. Betrayal on the B bomb site and low HP for two oh. of the remaining three from FaZe. Searson able to connect one off of the op, but can he keep Big in this? He's got himself the smoke. He has himself the kit, but he doesn't have the following kills. 16 rounds to nine. 
phase, robbing away the map choice of their opponents. We thought this one was done and dusted. Really nothing but good things to say no matter what happens. But, of course, we also have to say, after this pistol round, of course, and we'll see what happens here. Trade goes back, taps him, throws himself into the fire, but he actually causes the rotation. It's a free A site crossing cat. DJ, where's my x-ray? Thank you. <laughs> Got to insert a quarter. <laughs> this man's paid by the button push. I'll dish it out for that. Searson dishing it back into the head of Cold Zera. Olaf looking for some kind of an opening here, but now that Big have their bomb plant, it's really just that one flashbang that's meant to get the CTs back into the action, but they're instead sent back into the depths of which they came yeah. Big with the first pistol. We'll see. Rain's tucked boxes, flashes go over top. He definitely heard the CT drop. That's Keto in their spawn now. And oh, because of that opening, yep, working it back to the B bomb site. This all falls on Kierby. Molotov holding him off for only a moment, and he can only get the first. So Keto's going to lock himself into the position, goes out for the peak. It's a kill back by Tabson, who's looking to lock down mid with the man advantage firmly in the hands of Big Clan. So finding a way to stay kind of very fluid and still look very orderly on this T side. And that's an op that gets punished. Knocked down. Oh, uh -oh. I are paralyzed in fear here at the blue bin. Oh my god. Man down. Man got aim punched 600 times. But they know about Olaf. And Searson has the op advantage versus the pit. It would have to be a hell of an AK shot the other way from Olaf. It's doable. Kierby in the meantime kills Keto. There's the op connection from Searson. Last man's cold Zera. Zanteras, 2 HP. He died to a single shot, and that's exactly what happens. Now it's versus the Opera close, and Cold's gonna close. Welcome to the scoreboard, oh, he doesn't have a kit. Clan. Nope, he doesn't have a kit. Oh! I reject your invitation. Oh, that's tough. Sorry. Wow. A really good 1v2. They, he retains the op. They've walked Searson out from Catwalk uncontested. Rain's gonna pop up like a whack-a-mole. And down goes the Opera, so... Now it should be the halt. I say should be, because Tabson and Tizian respond with headshots apiece. Smoke grenade on the corner. Man, this is not going to be that easy. What's the play? Yeah. They, and Terra's going to challenge here. The smoke grenade completely counters Olaf. And if he can get these two players lined up, my god. Zantara is able to get the labored spray. Costs him nearly all his health, Tizian. though. And now Brokey's gonna get flanked by Tizian. However, how close is Olaf? That's what Tizian asks himself. It's a challenge on the corner, and Olaf wins it. Takes no damage, and this time, with certainty, they'll defuse the bomb. That's a weird play by Tizian. He had that, right? Just go back to Cat. Yeah. yeah. He, knew, he knows Olaf was long. Completely on his own here, but he is drawing the attention of two CTs. So the longer he stays alive, the more likely Big can sink their teeth into the B bomb site. That's their target. Searson just clawed one off of long A, so this is just a colonel defense coming out of phase. Who have they have in position? Cold Zera with no utility, and Brokey trying to play the door with AWP. Three T's coming outwards, bomb dropped, and it's a flawless hold from FaZe Clan. Monster moves from Cold Zera and Brokey together, but some of the early round nades FaZe are throwing, they're, they're maintaining that they're still worried about the B hits, and that's been enough to stop Big from fully executing. Listen, if we're not getting new maps, I just want roster changes every day. <laughs> <laughs> Zanteras has already got his entry out, eh? And Tapson's hopping into the pit, hoping to hop into the pit. Doesn't quite get there. Now a peek from Olaf to close the round. Uh, Four kills. Uh, that was fast. Four kills. He is super on the board. This was 7-0. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. Six. Very true. And it wasn't easy to get back here. A couple Wait. of really good individual shots. Okay, another opening round. A 4K from Olaf on long. That was part of it. Oh, long. Double flash, goes for the peak, gets Tabson. Man, Olaf's getting down and dirty. 13 kills, 8 deaths, back to the top of the scoreboard. There's his 14th of the first half. And as he goes for the reload, Rain provides cover fire. Searson dropped out of this one. Zantara's in the 1v5 clutch attempt. Minute on the clock, no bomb. Olaf 
strikes him down. Ooh, never mind. We're talking Santeras peaks. Wow. There's one for you. Slides by. Zoom. Walk out onto the A site. Molotov will land at the feet, but uh, there's just no time. Yeah. Simply no time. And he dies regardless. Phase one player sometimes are, are just everybody else is just putting together huge numbers. It's never been Ooh. too bottom. Oh. Sorry. No. Go ahead. Got what? excited. I did. I missed. I was looking at the stats to try to catch us up. What just happened? Brokey collateral. Collat down in suicide? Yes, sir. Holy. It's like they stopped facing him, so he stopped looking for it. And by extension of that, stopped getting control of it. Mm. And things have only gone from bad to worse. Searson will try his damnedest to get that eighth round on the board for big. A potential lineup from Tizian, but he misses the mark. That's three of four CTs coming out from their spawn. Searson versus Cold on site. And ooh, ooh. Searson missing the shot down lower, but completely blindsided. 30 seconds left over. Tizian, 13 kills. Top of the scoreboard for Big goes down. FaZe running it back and getting themselves a one round lead. Will they genuinely close this series? So I'm just gonna stick to him because right now, look at the coin flip, but I've already made a prediction. So I'm not gonna go back on that because there's more on the line if I do that than go the other way. So now, instead of being a flip flopper, we're just gonna take a look at Tab's Antipity. Tab, a player back spawn, bomb gets dropped in an awkward spot and Searson, nice he's not going down. Olaf, ready to fight them all, man. Look at this swarm from the big clan. It's a Everyone's 1v1. died here. It's a 1v1 from Xantera's health advantage. Smoke goes down. Rain has bombed. It really depends if Rain... Oh, my God. He's trying to walk it back, but Xantera's can see the other side of the smoke. I think he's going to be able to know what's happening, right? He's back over there on ramp. Oh, there it is. Whoa, could he have lost there? P250 hits the headshot, and suddenly this one's done. Eight seconds. Flash goes high. Rain needs the kill, and he's not going to quite find it. Big Clan with the pistol. And now that player's on Goose. Tabson's in his comfy position. Searson's doing work. There's the scout we were looking for. Oh, man. Oh, he hits every single one of them. Near perfect shots. Big Clan. They chasing? Going. Nope. In the head. Oh, he stays Go on. For it. Perched on the ledge. No taps is that bat. Flash goes oh. back. Perfect team play. And why not? Just keep extending the kill count. Maintain your man advantage. Yeah, you lose Tabson, so be it. Walk out from Cold Zero on mid. Tizian's gonna clear Cat. Meanwhile, Keto locking down the B site. Just has to keep his head down. <sighs> Little mid contact. Searson dying. That could be a problem. Whoa. But Tizian should still have him. Cold. Oh, as long as he doesn't give him this angle. Well, Roki's gonna come running back, and that's just death delivered on his doorstep. Well, if you guys. If you want to know exactly how far you're supposed to go, Tizian's showing you exactly how far that is. <laughs> just Eight on seconds. cat, there's just nothing you can do about this. He has a, a, and a powerful angle towards lower B. If they haven't committed to his site, he can stop you coming back from indoors. He can flank you on cat. No, oh, he's got a full nade set. That wasn't even his smoke there at long, so he's got everything to use. We saw one get run boosted. He plucks off rain. Oh. A second snap into Kierby. Lays the smoke at his feet. A flash. That could definitely help as Keto comes oh God, running up from CT spawn. Another off shot. Cold's going to trade one. Searson, barrel to barrel, goes down at the hands of Cold. It's Santerez on for the clutch. Oh, no, he's capable of. Oh, oh my God. Dink. He gets a. Oh, and he off follows up. He knows oh, the second player. Solo. Already a quarter HP, 30 seconds. Molly to the feet, a jumping bit of damage. Now there's nearly nothing left. Zantares honing in on him. Just playing with his food and slaying player after player. It's going to lend them a bit of room to work with. An additional smoke to ensure nobody's in position. Zantares with Keto holding the line. And it's good enough at the start. However, Kierby's the only man to still stand. And now he's going to get himself an AWP. He doesn't have the bomb. But he's got the heavier weaponry. <gasps> There's the peak. He didn't oh, he's see it. Three, yeah. Ah, awkward. You Big clan with a 14th round. Tabson could just put a rock on his controlled key. He's probably gonna, knows he's going to be here for a while, waiting for them to approach A. Little do they know that they've been stalked. Oh, oh man. man. Nice. With a dink. Uh huh. 
Trying to find vision over top of it. There's still a world where FaZe just connects some critical shots. But obviously the odds stacked in the favor of Big. Molly hits the bomb site at the 20 second mark. Xanteras can just go for the wild jumping spray down. Tabson actually comes off of his flank because he has another Molotov. 15 seconds. They do drop Xanteras. Now everybody's over on Cat, and there's no Molotovs left. <gasps> Keto through the wall onto the double. Third frags Tabson's, and Big Clan find 15. That's off. It's marvelously played there by Big, Big Clan to have the fallback. Seven round lead every round. They've got to hear that sound. Phase on uh -oh. match point. Damn. <sighs> Keto just rattling off with the op. You know, we, we kind of questioned his op when we saw the second one come out. Yeah. But he has just been instrumental. At first I thought, ah, he's just going to be the B anchor. Let him be cool. But he's been peeking all over. And well, this one's not quite over yet. Maybe peeking a bit too aggressively. You know, seven map and match points to work around with. You can take some calculated risks, but when it rains, it pours. And the man's on for the ace. Sitting pretty on his fourth frag, it's Kierby to take it away. Slides out from that B site to put a ninth on the board for FaZe Clan. Six more to go. A little bit out of place, yeah. yeah dropping time, some easy time. shots, but this... Oh, and this boost. Whoop, Belai, second player connects it. You are right, though. That that one half of Mirage was definitely where oh, the... Okay, this could be it. Oh, no. Not like this. I mean, in fact, this probably is it. Oh, that was a crucial kill, especially considering Kierby struggles across Dust 2. Oh, oh God. come on! Give them a damn chance! Searson just playing around with them, trying to challenge the window yet again. Let's see it rain. Clutch to keep this game going. He's got Searson just outside of the doorway on 37. Tizian barely alive. It's Keto that should be the biggest issue, and Rain's gonna commit to staring at his feet. He lines up two bodies. Now it's all on Tizian. 13 health, and it's gonna be enough. Big Clan close on Dust, and after FaZe ran it all the way back in that first half, it's a near flawless CT side from Big.